Three, two, one. All right, standard 12. Standard 12 starts off with a direct connection from standard 11 in that standard 11 was discussing railroads and Andrew Carnegie and the steel industry. Standard 12 gets into the discussion of the transcontinental railroad and how that fulfilled the idea of manifest destiny, at least in the continental United States. And it gets a little deeper in terms of who built it and some of the locations. Uh, so we talked about the widespread use of Chinese laborers on the western portion of the transcontinental railroad and the use of Irish laborers on the eastern portion. Uh, and we mentioned the, the dangers of the work involved, especially going uh, through the Rocky Mountains and using explosives and uh, the you know, pay was, was not uh, great, especially for the Chinese laborers. Uh, so all of that was connected to Standard 11. And then the new topic in Standard 12 is the Plains Wars. So this it was the conflict between the U.S. government and the Plains Indians. We mentioned primarily in the area of uh, the Dakotas and talked about primarily the Sioux, that uh, Chief Sitting Bull led the uh, the the wars in terms of he was the the chief and then you had um bigfoot that was you know one of the ones fighting in, in wounded knee but just to to get into it we mentioned the uh battle of little bighorn was was kind of the big win for the native americans against the federal government and uh, how general custer was was defeated uh, then we mentioned the battle of wounded knee and some would call it the wounded knee massacre uh, and it was the last major conflict uh, between the U.S. military and the Native Americans. And that's standard 12.